Welcome to a Business Growth Mindset Podcast. I'm Christian Lavolsi, and despite the pandemic that we are facing around the world, I'm really grateful to be here today and to be able to share this episode with you. To all the business owners and entrepreneurs, the crazy ones, the believers, the doers, the clever makers, the action takers, and everybody else in between, this podcast was designed for you. The past few weeks, I have been focused on resilience, and with the escalating developments of COVID-19, resilience will be something everyone needs to focus on and to develop, because it's a vital coping and survival mechanism which we need to endure, overcome, and rebuild. Resilience is a powerful mechanism that provides you the ability to overcome adversity and weathering those storms. So please make sure, if you haven't already done so, to listen to episodes 7 and 8 and share it with your team and friends. Today's episode is about dealing with COVID-19, and I'll provide you with five critical areas that will help you navigate the storm. And to further support you, I've prepared a comprehensive COVID-19 business preparation checklist. The link is in the show notes. So stay tuned and listen up, because today could be the difference between order and chaos. As a sole trader or a business owner of a SME, we are continuously faced with challenges. At the present, we are dealing with a deadly virus known as COVID-19. That is bringing the global economy to its knees. In Australia, we've just surfaced from one of the worst bushfire seasons of all time, In 2008, it was the global financial crisis, and in 2001, it was the tech bubble. For many business owners and sole traders, the biggest enemy is often our own mistakes and uh, indecisions. Now, let's be clear. We will always face significant challenges. It's part of business. This is part of being a business owner of an SME with or without employees. The challenges are similar. What's critical to understand is the way in which we approach and address these challenges is completely on us. In 2008, I was caught up in the global financial crisis. I had a group of companies that turned over almost $30 million and employed in excess of 100 employees. It wasn't the GFC alone that caused our cash flow to erode. It was a combination of many things, such as an over-aggressive commitment to growth, an expansion Um, poor planning, uh, human resource issues, bad partnerships, and me, of course. I experienced catastrophic failure in the perfect storm. I met with administrators, liquidators, lawyers, and accountants. These people, they're so freaking risk averse, and they gravitate you into the belief that this is the only option because the pain goes away and there is always a chance that you can recover. Now, let me be clear. There is just as much chance that you will recover or survive without all their advice, and it's likely that you'll come out better off without all their fees and charges. However, there are some cases that cannot be reversed, and there are obvious reasons why some people need to enter administration, but that's for another day. This was undoubtedly one of the worst and most challenging periods of my entire life. The pain, uh, the anxiety, it lasted 18 months, and when I tell you it was hard, 10 exit. It was fucking hard. I was so close to hitting that fuck it button on so many occasions. Through perseverance, hard work, and determination, I sold all my businesses, and they continued with new owners. I settled the debts and entered payment arrangements that would affect me for at least five more years, but I survived. I was homeless, I was broke, and I was uncertain, and I did not know how I was going to move forward. So let's fast forward eight years I was back turning over eight figures and employing 100 people. I was an adjunct professor at a sandstone university and the inaugural entrepreneur in residence for one of Australia's best incubators that raised, way for it, $189 million in less than a year. I became a better human, a better son, a better partner, and now a father. I was wiser, smarter, tougher, more resilient, and I had built grit. I was better for it, I made better decisions, and now I was helping others navigate disruption, change, and challenges. It was at this point I realized in late 2018 that I wanted to create more change, 
give myself more time with my young family, and rather than run exclusively my own companies, I wanted to help others grow and systematize their dreams. So I systematically exited uh, the sale and handover of most of my companies over an eight-month period. I was very focused on exiting the bricks and mortar businesses and the ones that had a huge HR dependency. What really stood out about this 10-year development was that I could go beyond just solving problems. I developed a growth mindset that now allowed me the vision and foresight to uncover the unspoken, unknown opportunities that helps business owners flourish and grow. So, having weathered the storm on more than one occasion, and having worked with hundreds of business owners to help them navigate and um, change their course, I wanted to share some valuable tips for you to consider, particularly if you're sailing on a ship through the storm right now. Before I do, I want you to know that COVID-19 is a different crisis. It's different because it's a health crisis that affects us in many ways because today we are very connected in how we do business. Now, for example, an iPhone, it involves more than 40 companies to produce components for the product to be finished. So it's important that all business owners of all sizes consider three shocks that the market is experiencing and how they relate to you. So one, supply distribution, two, aggregate demand, and three, liquidity. Now, I mean this in terms of declining confidence and credit growth. This is a black swan event, and our existing plans and forecasts are not necessarily applicable anymore. However, there are many things that you can do to help your business and your business navigate this massive storm. (coughs) Excuse me. And here are five critical areas that will help you. Remember, Don't let great get in the way of good. Just start and get on with it. So number one, forecast your cash flow. Many of you rely on monthly P&L forecasts, um, and this is just simply not enough. Any forecast or budget that you've prepared are well and truly expired now with the escalating global impact of this virus. You need to prepare weekly cash flow forecasts. Yes, weekly. And they need to be updated daily. This will provide you with the visibility and flexibility to take a considerate approach to managing your cash flow. What scares me the most is that there are many business owners and particularly sole traders sailing very close to the cliff's edge already and most struggle with profit and loss statements, let alone understanding their balance sheet. Don't don't shit your pants. (laughs) It's not that hard. A simple cash flow is essentially money in and money out, the inflows and outflows of your business. The hardest part is planning for when it comes in and when it goes out. And more importantly, it's about understanding how much cash you actually need to to make it to the other side. That's the runway. I review my cash flow weekly, even when it's business as usual, because I will never be in the same position I was in in 2009. And if you think I'm a control freak, then ask my clients how often I review their cash flow. Yes, that's right, weekly. I teach them the exact same principles that I follow. Why? Because having this instrument in your toolbox keeps you aware and in control. You are fluid, you're fluid, and there are limited surprises. It allows you to be flexible and uh, it allows you to find your empowerment and you make better decisions. The reason why this is my very first point is that this will provide you with the benchmark and foundations to execute the next four areas that we need to address. Surround yourself with a quality advisor. Make sure you find someone who has been there, failed and succeeded. Business as usual is hard enough for most business owners. You need to find someone who has captained a ship through the storms before. This will give you the very best chance to survive. Serial entrepreneurs are amongst the very best advisors for this exact reason, because they identify their weaknesses early and employ experts to manage those areas. Then they focus 100% of their energy and time into doing what they do best, their core strength. For many people, this is where they will fail. They will try to steer the ship um, on their own, and you cannot do this on your own. Consider your individual situation, but reviewing the implications such as finances, your team, your family, your emotions, and your clients. 
This is about clarity, direction, and support. Give yourself the best opportunity possible to navigate away from the risk and back into the sea. Number three is leadership. Now that you are armed with an advisor and you are clear about your cash position, you need to lead your team. And if you're a sole trader, you will need to lead yourself and collaborate with others to ensure you achieve your outcomes. Share your experiences with your team. Don't be afraid. Don't limit yourself. Your beliefs and attitudes as a leader need to be realistic and founded on creating opportunities. Stop focusing on the problem and start creating outcomes that propel your business through its people. Develop a list of goals and use them to to chart out your new course. Direction is critical and you need to communicate this to all your stakeholders. Write smart goals. So, so many people I meet have no goals at all. Well, right now you're going to need them. The wake up, to wake up each day and do the same shit is just stupid. And if you want to move in a different direction, you need to have a destination. This is your goal. Mobilize yourself and your team to achieve that goal through taking massive action. Be authentic. Know your organizational purpose. Start doing and stop talking. A culture of action takers will scale your organization faster than anything else. There is no substitute for speed right now. Number four, diversity. Diversify. For many businesses, the way you traded and generated money has changed. You need to adapt and to do so, you need to diversify. Review your resources and relocate if you can. Deploy your resources to innovate and drive change. If you've lost your engine on a cruise ship, how could you steer away from the oncoming cliffs? You would feel the bottom of the left bow, the right uh, of the boat, so that you could use the weight of the water to move the boat. Now, I'm no sailor, but I think this might just work. My point is think, plan, and then act. You need to work at speed, but you need to slow your mind so that you can actually make decisions. Look at your product mix and uncover the opportunities to deploy differently. Cut out revenue streams that are no longer working and create new ones. Use your advisor to help you review this with a fresh set of eyes, unemotional eyes. The value advice at this time cannot be undervalued. You must seek out new opportunities and new markets. Don't sit back and do nothing. Don't hold your head in your hands with despair. If you are going to fail, fail with dignity and knowing that you have given your very best shot. Number five, sales and marketing. Too many business owners rely on magic when it comes to generating leads, especially the more established SMEs. This is super dangerous throughout this particular crisis. Relationships will crumble and people will seek refuge during difficult times. You cannot rely on your past relationships alone. You need to forge with courage and bravery into the red ocean and hustle for work. Deploy everyone in your team to business development. Without the cash coming in, there will be no business. Increase your marketing activity. There are heaps of below-the-line marketing tactics that you can generate uh, to create work. SMEs are falling behind and they are missing out on simple and effective business improvements by failing to adopt simple technologies. Things like HubSpot, Canva, and Campaign Monitor can make your marketing activities double by making you more professional and more efficient. Learn by doing if you don't know how is the approach taken by those with a growth mindset. In marketing, this is critical. We often don't have the tools, the context, or the content. So go and create it, test and learn by doing The person who works the hardest in these times will excel. To further support you, I have prepared a COVID-19 business preparation checklist. The link is in the show notes, so make sure you download it. In this time of need, what we can do uh, is to better plan, consider and act. To be able to do so, we need to build our own resilience and that of our teams. If you haven't already done so, please listen to episodes seven and eight. By being resilient, We give ourselves the very best opportunity to make better decisions, but also to persevere and endure. From all of us, keep safe, maintain your distance, don't hoard, 
wash your hands, and most important of all, use the digital tools you have available to stay connected with the people that matter the most to you. Host a daily Zoom um, uh, with a coffee or Zoom Friday drink sessions. We are. We must care for our most vulnerable and ensure that they are not exposed unnecessarily. Listen to the government and the medical advice, but remember you have a mind of your own so you can make tougher choices for you and your family if you choose to. Please take care during this time. Be kind, be compassionate, be considerate, and be calm. As always, I'm Christian Lavolsi, and live with purpose and be safe. Are you ready to start taking action on your business? Would you like to spend more time with your family? Then call 1300 643 229 and start building momentum right now. I know you're busy. In fact, you are so busy that you don't have time to work on your business or yourself. Often tossing and turning at night, worrying about the how to's and the cash flow. How on earth can you possibly get? off the hamster wheel so that you can take a helicopter view to see where you'll be in 90 days, one year, or three years from now. In this program, I will take you from sleepless nights to blissful sleep. You'll have more time with your family and you will have the clarity and direction so you can grow and flourish. Call 1300 643 229 now and start building momentum.